Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the most effective study technique that is out there. And you know, this is uh, the study technique that I have been using for the past one month. And trust me, guys, it has entirely changed my perspective to studies. So you guys have to just see what the technique is, how you can use it and everything. So in this video, we are going to just dive deep into what study techniques are useful, what are not useful and how you can just adapt this into your daily study routines. Basically, you will find time steps to everything down here. This is how the video is going to be. First of all, I'm going to talk to you about the classic methods that we all use. And why are they not effective? I'm going to talk to you about what the study technique is exactly that is effective and how you can incorporate this in your study routine. This is how the video is going to be. You can definitely skip to any part that you are willing to. And now, without wasting any further time, let us dive into the video. The main video idea or the realization that I got about this study technique is through Ali Abdal's video that was how to study for exams. I'll just put the video link up here and I will also try to summarize what he talked in his video here so you guys will get a gist of what I'm talking about. Basically, what he tells in his video is that uh, the classic study that techniques that we use that is uh, you know uh, rereading uh, another one that we usually usually most of the time use is highlighting and also summarizing or making notes is why ineffective you just pause the video realize on your own how much you have studied or how you were studying and were these techniques effective uh, when i watched that video now i was like yeah this is true I was doing the same thing. I was so reluctant upon uh, rereading or highlighting or taking notes. You know, taking notes have been the biggest part of my preparation. And I was like, man, I have wasted so much time on this. And was that worth it? Or I could have done it a little bit different. And that was the time or that was the realization after watching that video that, yeah, I did a mistake. And I shouldn't have done that. And now, uh, as I have been learning from my mistakes and I have adapted the new technique and that is really helpful and I have been using that for the past one month and trust me guys it is really effective as these techniques are not effective let's move on to a technique that actually works and that is active recall and I know you guys must have heard about this and active recall is by far the best technique out there basically what active recall means is active actively recalling something that you have previously heard or actively reviving information from your head and triggering that part of your mind to remember something basically this is questioning your mind again and again the more you question your mind the more uh, the information tends to remember in your head this is how it works you try and constantly push that part of your mind to remember something this is how uh, the information will just be there in your head for a long period of time this is how active recall works so now it's time to talk about different ways in which we can use active recall in our daily study routine uh, the very first thing that i want to say or the very important way in which we can use active recall is uh, constantly questioning ourselves for example if we are sitting in a lecture and the lecturer is teaching us something just have a piece of paper just have your pen with you and try uh, to make questions of every part that the particularly the sir is teaching or the ma'am is teaching whatever information you are gaining now that should be the answer so what will be the question for that particular uh, you know particular thing that the lecturer is teaching just write down different questions for that okay so why is this like this or why is that uh, why is xyz like this or why is this like that and this is how uh, you can just you know have questions for uh, something that you have just learned after the lecture now just see take that piece of paper and just try to answer all these questions be like okay yeah then you will be constantly you know triggering your mind to remember things that you have just learned this is uh, only applicable for lectures so let's see what are other things you can use uh, when you are just doing your self studies uh, the next best thing about active recall is to make flashcards and i have been talking about flashcards for a long period of time but this is a bit lengthy process you need to make the front side of the flashcard the back side of the flashcard and the best application to use for flashcards is anki web or you can also have the anki you know the uh, mobile version of that on your androids and that could also be helpful but you need to make your flashcards on your own and this is only applicable for the factual data you cannot make flashcards for every single thing because it would just be so much lengthy process and we have a lot of information to remember so basically just use this for uh, you know the key facts or the facts that you need to know 
use this method for that only apart from this uh, another thing that could be uh, very very helpful is to use the toggle feature on notion app you know this feature i recently came across this feature and i was like man this is really helpful basically what toggle feature does is you have to write the question up there and underneath the question you can hide the answer for that you know if you are using this app you you are using this uh, you know feature na this is very helpful when you have a lot of information or when you have a, a bunch of things and un lying underneath the question so whenever you have the first glance of the page now you only see uh, the question if you don't remember the answer now then you can just click on that question and that will show you the answer for that when you see the question now your mind constantly try tries to remember the things and in this way you co constantly question yourself or whenever you are questioning yourself now you try to remember things so this is what i'm trying to say there should be a lot of things going in your head like okay yeah this is the question what can be the answer okay this could be the answer that could be the answer and this way you remember or the information just sticks down here you know there is another technique that is known as hyper correction technique you know basically what this technique means is that sometimes when you see a question na you remember something or you guess the answer for that even if the answer of that question is wrong na you then see the correct answer and the correct answer try, tends to stick in your head sometimes uh, you you must have just gone through this sometimes a lecturer asks you asks you a question and then you give the wrong answer for that but if someone else gives the right right answer for that na you always tend to remember the right question this is how the hyper correction technique works so basically always try to answer the question even if it's right it's wrong poke your brain to remember things and uh, you know act come on just let the brain think 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 and one of the last things that i want to say here is try to teach someone that if you particularly understand a topic na try to teach that to someone else that has zero knowledge about that you know try to simplify things and and teach someone that uh, even if you have no one with you if you are doing self studies if you want to just study on your own just have take a white board or just take a piece of paper and you know try to remember all of that okay yeah this is something try to explain that to yourself or to someone else that has zero knowledge about that when you are doing this now your mind constantly thinks like okay how can i simplify this how can i simplify this further so that uh, the someone else that is in front of us will remember those things uh, so yes guys i think this is enough information about active recall you basically get the idea of how it works there are a lot of different ways and if you want me to just you know go deep into every single particular ways in which you can uh, use active recall just comment down below i will definitely make a video on that also overall the entire principle of active recall is trying to remember or trying to trigger your mind to remember or revive things of something that you have learned in past this is how it works and i definitely want to say i hope this would be helpful for you guys and because this is something that has been helped me from the past one month i have completely shifted my preparation in this way and this is helpful guys this is genuinely helpful i will once again make a video in which i would be going deep into how to do this and if you want that let me know in the comment section below i'll be really happy to know all your responses guys thank you so much and also use this method and just give me the feedbacks i would be really happy to know and yes guys i think this will be for this video i hope you like the video and if you do don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel and also comment down below what you think about the video i'll see you guys in the next video until then stay safe bye